Hey doing, it's Kwai here. I just want to go over um, a comparison between YouTube and social media uh, and which platform is better in terms of generating leads, uh, future growth, branding and so forth. So let's go have a look. I've got a table here. We've got social media, we've got YouTube and we're going to be looking at the pros and cons of each of these platforms and um, you can decide whether you want to invest time in both of these or one of these at the same time. So let's look at the pros of social media. The number one thing is if you're marketing a business or you're marketing yourself, number one thing is that it's free. Okay, it doesn't cost anything. It's, it's, you know, it's free. Uh, you don't have to pay for money for it. Pretty cool. Another thing is that it's easy. You know, it's easy to post stuff on Instagram. It's easy to post stuff on Twitter and posting things on, uh, you know, uh, on Facebook and so forth. It's free. It's easy. And um, what other things can you do? It's uh, you can you can actually build a pretty good brand. I would say branding using pictures, content, and sh um, you know, and so forth. So you share content and so forth. Well, the cons of social media. Now, if you're looking at Instagram, Facebook, and so forth, right? It's not searchable. Okay, I just put it across there. It's not searchable. For example, if I were to go on Google and I were to type in a particular um, search phrase, it's not going to bring up. It's not going to bring up Instagram. You're not going to see that. So, for example, if I'm posting content on Instagram, got my long caption there, and I do a search on Google, uh, it's not going to. My post isn't going to appear in the search engine, so it's not going to be searchable. And another massive con is that it's um, it's limited. For example, let's say that I want to post something on Instagram Stories uh, that only stays online for just 24 hours and then disappears. So I've just wasted. Um, wasted a lot of time wasted time so you waste time you wasted a lot of time on social media for example when I'm posting stuff on so on, on Instagram stories it just disappears after 24 hours so that time is wasted and and it's very limited as well so that's that's the thing that I find that um, with social media is that it's not searchable it's limited and it wastes a lot of time as well and it's also um, it's waste a lot of energy <laughs> energy I mean coming up with the hashtags coming up with the perfect post coming up with the pictures and coming up the, with the right um, sayings captions all those type of things it's so much energy involved and it disappears after time and therefore it's not searchable okay now let's look at YouTube the pro of YouTube is that it's searchable so for example like um, we know that Google is the number one search engine on the planet and you know what the second search biggest search engine is it's actually YouTube so if you go on to Google you want to search for a particular solution to your problem you go on Google if you want to search for video content to solve your problem you go on YouTube and therefore if I post a video um, on on YouTube it gets searchable and it's actually timeless so what I mean by that is that if I create some content now and I post it on YouTube it's going to be searchable and it's going to be continually be searchable a year from now two years from now four years from now ten years from now I'm pretty sure that when you've gone on YouTube um, when you're searching for something you look on the video and you can see the the year when it was created I've seen some videos that was seven years eight years ten years ago and it just goes to show that those videos are going to continually bring you traffic and um, it's going to continually you know, work in your favor. But think about social media, the stuff that I posted 10 years ago, seven years ago, is it being searched? No, none of it's being searched. So once again, it goes back to wasted time, wasted energy, which is annoying, right? So it's searchable and it's timeless as well. Uh, another pro is that it's more um, targeted. The great thing about it is that it's targeted because uh, if I were to type in, if I were to post a video on how to make tutorials on Photoshop in Photoshop, right? People who type that into YouTube will find my video, and they're more targeted. But if I were to do the same thing on social media, it's not really targeted. It just seems very generic. It seems very general. Um, those type of people looking at. It. So you know that that's that's one thing I found is that it's targeted. Another great thing, once again, it's a free. You know, it's free to create YouTube. I love it. Uh, create videos and just post it as well. Oh, it also, it's longer. You can create longer content. You can create up to 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, and so forth, up to 10 hours uh, YouTube videos. And uh, you can share a lot more content, a lot longer content. And uh, but with social media, it's very limited. Once again, you can't really share that much content. Um, it's 
uh, the captions can go up to about 500. Twitter is only about 128 characters or something. And as you can see, it's it's very limited when it comes down to social media. But with YouTube, you can share longer content, give more value, and so forth. The cons with YouTube is that it's time. Okay, so if you're doing it yourself, how long does it take to record a video? So it takes me about 10, 20 minutes to record a video. It takes me a bit of time to edit the video. It takes me a bit of time to create the YouTube thumbnail. It takes time. It just takes a lot of time. Obviously, if you're outsourcing it, it doesn't. This doesn't apply, but it does take a lot more time to create your content versus social media because uh, if you're on social media, you just take a photo, post it, it's, you're done in a few minutes. But with YouTube, it does take a bit longer. So that's the con with YouTube. Um, and that's the way I see it. And also, uh, what else is there? I can't really think of any other cons with YouTube, to be honest, except it just requires a lot of time. Everything else is really good. Okay, so by looking at the two um, platforms, what are you going to focus on? Are you going to focus on social media or are you going to focus on YouTube? So it really depends on your strategy. If you're going for short term, but you don't care about long term and so forth, maybe you might want to go to, to social media. You know, it's very short term. But if you want to go play the long game, game, if you want to play the long game like me and you want to, all your time is being utilized properly in the long term. So if I create a video now, all that time that I invest into that one video is going to pay off in future, right? You want to target, you want to target YouTube long term okay um, my time isn't wasted because I know this video is going to be used for years to come and the, the videos I made years ago is still bringing me traffic so so ultimately I believe YouTube is the best option to focus your time energy and even money into investing in your platform because that time that you spend on social media you can never get back you can never get that time back but at least with youtube if you're creating all this valuable content for years and years and years not only that you're creating a legacy um, people will know you from the content you share you always be f um, found and it's really it's a really great uh, time capsule in which you can share your content and so forth but with social media i don't know it's just uh, it just seems to me there's just too many cons uh, particularly with wasted time this is this is the biggest one is wasted time it's wasted time because time you can never get back and uh, if if I'm spending time creating an Instagram story from creating time creating a post it's not being searched properly and so forth it's not being picked up a year from now and I just got to keep it just feels like a treadmill where I'm just using time and just it disappears and it's just over and over again um, to me that's a big no I, I don't want to waste my time on, on social media but with YouTube Let's say I put a lot of time and energy into this. At least it's going to be searched for a long time. Okay, it's going to be timeless. It will always be up there and it'll always be giving me traffic. So that's the reason why I choose YouTube. I've invested, I've taken my social media time, invested more into YouTube. I don't spend too much time on YouTube anymore, on, on, on just social media anymore. And now it's just YouTube. So uh, that's how I see it. Uh, invest time into YouTube, build it up. And ultimately, eventually, once you build a following on YouTube, you can switch over to social media. You can get people to follow your social media account. So these subscribers, right, these subs will turn into followers, okay, into social media. So that can be eventually strategies. Number one, build your YouTube channel. It's continually getting traffic, getting subscribers, and get them to also follow you on social media, but you're still investing time into YouTube because this part here, it's like a bucket. It's just holding all your other subs and, and you're just giving other additional content. So that's how I'll do it. But if you spend a lot of time on social media, it's just, yeah, you're just wasting a lot of time. So anyway, um, that's my video on comparing YouTube versus social media and which platform is better. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next one. Cheers.